One of the things I like best about this style of farming, sort of small-scale farming in a particular community, is growing the food and making connections for people about where the food comes from. I think people actually eat more vegetables because they want to support me and they want to eat locally and this is what grows here locally really well. I went to Evergreen and did this the organic farm program. Learned more about what it would take to, to be a farmer and run a farm. I felt pretty confident that I wanted to be a farmer and that's just what I wanted to do. I named this farm Red Dog Farm after my dog Rupert Dandelion. He always loves farming and loves running around and chasing things. This farmland has been in production for the past hundred years and been a dairy farm for at least the last thirty years while the Browns own the property. It's just a really prime agricultural spot. The quality of the soil, the availability of water, good sunlight, good airflow. Mark Bowman from Shorebank came up with this idea that, well, what about if the land trust was involved and if the land trust actually bought the land and then I would sort of have five years or so to buy the land from the land trust. And so this would give me a way to um, sort of get my feet on the ground, get the business going. And they're just all so excited about it. I'm so grateful to them. It's sort of unbelievable and definitely a huge gift. She has taken on a big chunk of property, putting it back into produce that was, you know, a function that happened on this farm 100 years ago. So there's actually a whole other piece of this property that is actually going to back to where it was a long time ago, which is very cool.